community. Welcome to Poetry on the Porch, a.k.a. it's actually in my living room because every day I've tried to do this, it's been raining or snowing or 20 degrees outside. I have a special guest today. It's Mrs. Black. Wave to the people, Mrs. Black. Good morning, everyone. How's everyone doing on this rainy Thursday? Well, how are you doing, Mrs. Black, in our hashtag GHS community? Hey, I'm doing pretty good. I'm trying to make the best out of a tough situation. Been going on a lot of walks didn't see I just started a vlog called the daily hike um yeah just trying to get outside and stay positive and hang out with my friends well and I've I've had you as a friend for how many years now how many years have um, I known you I have known Mr. Miranda since uh I don't know he was probably in sixth grade seventh grade yeah no it, it, maybe it was maybe even younger yeah fourth grade maybe oh yeah yeah yep yeah. Um, yeah, Ms. Miranda and I even went to high school together, mm -hmm. and uh, we actually had the privilege of sharing the very same English teacher, mm -hmm. who, for me, was an inspiration to become an English teacher. Um, but yeah, so his name is Mr. Carter. He was amazing, and he taught a great class called uh, Edgar Allan Poe Seminar. Oh, I remember that class. Yep, one of my favorite classes. And then when I started teaching at Grafton in 2008, um, on my second year, I actually just took my old notebook from high school and a binder of stuff, and I started teaching the class. It was pretty, um, just kind of an amazing experience to teach the class of your favorite teacher. Oh, he, he was certainly an amazing teacher. He was. So, um, in honor of Mr. Carter and Edgar Allan Poe and Dreary Thursdays, <laughs> we're going to read a, a Poe poem with you today. Yeah, sounds good. So, so right. we, got, we got Annabelle, Annabelle Lee queued up, right? Yes, Annabelle Lee. Um, and uh, Ms. Miranda, I'll start. Yeah, go for it. It was many, many a year ago in a kingdom by the sea that a maiden lived there whom you may know by the name of Annabelle Lee. And this maiden she lived with no other thought than to love and be loved by me. And I was a child, and she was a child, in this kingdom by the sea. But we loved with a love that was more than love, I and my Annabelle Lee. With a love that the winged seraphs of heaven cover covered her and me. And this was the reason that long ago, in this kingdom by the sea, a wind blew out of a cloud, chilling my beautiful Annabelle Lee, so that her high-born kinsmen came and bore her away from me to shut her up and a sepulcher in the kingdom by the sea. The angels not half so happy in heaven when envying her and me. Yes, that was the reason, as all men know, in this kingdom by the sea, that the wind came out the cloud by night, chilling and killing my Annabelle Lee. But our love, it was stronger by far than the love of those who were older than we, of far wiser than we, and neither the angels in heaven above nor the demons down under the sea can ever dissever my soul from the soul of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. For the moon never beams without bringing me dreams of the beautiful Annabelle Lee, and the stars never rise, but I feel the bright eyes of the beautiful Annabelle Lee. And so all the night tide I lie down by the side of my darling, my darling, my life and my bride, in her sepulchre there by the sea, in her tomb by the sounding sea. How can you not love Edgar Allan Poe? Oh, good job! That good, was awesome. Good job, Mrs. Black. Thanks. What fun that was. So do you have any any uh, last words of wisdom or comfort for people who might be feeling a little down or sad? Yeah, so um, I know this sounds like a typical English teachery thing to say, but, like, this was a lot of fun. Just, you know, reading for the fun of it um, and with a friend. I mean, you know, maybe it's not reading, but do something that, you never have time to do. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, just try to make the best of it. Yeah, check out some poems. Go to Poetry Foundation, poetry.com. Check it out. Yes. There's lots of great yeah. poems. And we're not asking you to analyze them, just read them for fun. No. And actually, you know what I was thinking the other day, Mr. Miranda, I found um, some children's books that I had and I might crack those open because oh, they're yeah. a delight, you know? So maybe there's a book that you used to love when you were a kid. Mm -hmm. Yeah, pull it on out and read it. All right, I think yeah. we're running out of time. I think my computer's about to die. All right. So, Thank so th you. thanks, Mrs. Black, for your uh, guest hosting. Yes, thanks for having me. Have a great day. And we look forward to hiking. Yes. See you soon. Bye.